What is the food like on an Italian cruise ship? We are on a seven-day cruise around the Mediterranean Sea on the cheapest cruise ship, coming to about 50 euros per night, including meals. In this video, we are taking you with us on a full day of eating around this Costa cruise to see how good the food is on this Italian cruise ship. Good morning, or should I say buongiorno, guten morgen, buenos dias. <laughs> Today we are on an Italian cruise ship in the Mediterranean. So there's a lot of European passengers, a lot of languages spoken today. And uh, we are going to show you what food looks like on this cruise ship. Yes, this is one of the cheapest cruises around on the Mediterranean. We're gonna show you a full day of eating on one of the cheapest cruise ships. We're not gonna pay for anything. Well, it's already paid for. It's included, is what he means. For breakfast, we head over to the main buffet restaurant as soon as it opens to try and avoid the lines. And for reference, this is a sea day on the Italian cruise ship Costa Smeralda, but we'll go into details later on in this video. At the breakfast buffet, there is a large assortment of your typical European breakfast food items. There are plenty of egg options. There's sausage, bacon, chicken, and other meat options. If you're into a cold breakfast, there's yogurt, cereal, fresh fruit, and pastries, and plenty of cold cuts. Literal towers of meat. <laughs> along with a variety of cheese and cream cheese spreads to go on bread rolls or slices. There's also baked beans for the Brits and roasted vegetables like zucchini and potatoes. All of the food was served by the staff behind glass barriers. It caused a little bit of wait time at certain stations, but it's definitely way more hygienic than everyone picking up the food themselves. All right, good morning. So it is eight o'clock on the dot and we went to the buffet restaurant for breakfast. And this is the restaurant that is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner every day. And obviously it's breakfast time. So we're starting and it's fairly big, but it's getting crowded pretty quickly as well. You have a good selection of different things. I went for the a little bit more European version here. I got some dark rye bread, like a very heavy dark bread, a little white bread. There's a little bit of a Berlina. It yeah. Donut. A filled donut thing with hopefully vanilla custard. Uh, they had cream cheese, ham here, cheese, fried egg. There's also a little bit of the British version here with uh, baked beans and scrambled eggs. There are some fried potatoes as well. And they even have something like this chicken breast here. So some hearty options as well. We usually do not eat breakfast at all, but for you, we got the whole selection. They have the option for free coffee though. The only two things included are black coffee and then coffee with milk. Everything else has like a little machine where you can draw like a cappuccino or latte macchiato, but there you have to swipe your card and it costs a little extra. And the standard coffee, it's not the best. It's included and uh, you can drink it. Some days we were sick of the instant coffee, so we went to one of the onboard cafes with fresh ground coffee beans and just had a cappuccino or an espresso for breakfast. You just saw me make a Shrama Max basically here. We have the dark ray bread. I put some cream cheese on there with the ham and the egg and now time to... Shrama Max. Mm. Oh, look at that egg form. It's pretty decent, however, I noticed one thing. We got in the habit of toasting every bread and of course here it's everything is cold. So I wish you could toast it somewhere and I don't think they have the option. A little bit more for the brunch options. Potatoes, man, they work for breakfast, they work for lunch, they work for dinner, late night snack, he potatoes. He loves potatoes. Baked beans for all the British people. The baked beans for the Brits. Yeah, we don't have a big Brit audience, but uh, maybe this changes now, baked beans. We've met two Irish guys. We haven't met any Brits though. Very sweet. I'll leave that for the, for the Queen's people, or now the King's people. While Phil finishes up his large breakfast assortment, I decided to go to the omelet station where they make fresh omelets to order. There is also some ready-made fried eggs and plain omelets with less of a wait time, but I loaded mine with some of the toppings that they offered. I'm going with the more American style breakfast. I have a nice warm, freshly made omelet, two pancakes, and then I have some persimmons here. So the omelet I have here is with onions, ham, and cheese. The cheese looked really good. He made it then and there. There was kind of a cue, you wait, and then you get this delicious omelet in the end. And I really like a warm breakfast, so. Oh. Look at that. I didn't expect that. Fresh and full. Do you see that nice cheesy chunks in there? Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Like Phil said, we really don't eat breakfast, but when we do, 
I want something warm. And then here's some pancakes. I just have them in a stack there. So I got honey, but there is syrup on there too. They already put, let's do a little bit of both. They look great. Yeah, look at that beautiful fluffy pancake. Not as fluffy as I'm used to, but a nice fluff on there. It's Italian fluffiness. Can't mm. be as fluffy as an American. That's not bad. I would like some chocolate chips <laughs> to put on top. <laughs> Maybe that's the child in me. This is not a bad breakfast. I just feel like you have to select certain things if you want the freshness from it. Also, if you're wondering where the harsh light comes from, we're literally at the window to the outside of the boat and uh, the sun is just rising there. Yeah. We're sitting already in front of the coast of Italy. It's getting busier and busier as the day goes on. Yeah, that's true. I think it's open from like half past seven to like 11 or something, but we came here one time very late. We wanted to grab a quick snack, but I think every seat was taken and people sometimes even stand on the side and eating. But I think you can also take it outside and eat on these tables, but it's fairly cold now, so that's up for you to decide. Probably nicer during the summer months. <laughs> And now that we are sufficiently stuffed, it is time to entertain ourselves until lunch. It is a sea day, so we are limited to the ship activities. Phil opted to go to the gym since there is a fitness center on board. And I opted to walk around the boat until I found a comfortable spot to read. There are other forms of entertainment on this ship, which we will talk about in an upcoming video about our full Mediterranean cruise experience. So subscribe for more food and travel videos. For lunch, we had the option to go back to the main buffet area where we ate breakfast, or we could go to one of the several dining rooms where they set up a smaller version of the buffet. Through the app, we could see which restaurants were not as crowded, and of course, we decided to go to the less crowded one. There's a hand washing station at every restaurant entrance, and after thoroughly washing our hands, we checked out what was for lunch. Each day, there were salad and vegetarian options, some meat or seafood options, and of course, some type of pasta of the day. All right, so it's lunchtime and we came to one of the special restaurants, but those are still included. So this one's called Il Meneghino and it's on the fifth deck of the boat, right on the back, as you can see here on the side. We're at the very end. We're like really at this curved window, which is really cool. You see the boat treading there. But I'm gonna start here. I got a little selection of dishes. This is a grilled salmon. This is a beef stew they had. This is a paella and then mashed potatoes. Potatoes, they call it actually crashed potatoes mashed potatoes here. They look pretty chunky. Maybe that's why they call them crashed and not mashed. This is basically just the carb of the dish, but let me see what the mains taste like. The paella. I think this is a seafood paella. At least there is a, I think there's a mussel or something in that. It's very good. That's actually very nice. We ate paella in the past a couple of times in Spain, and I think this is definitely up there with it. So let me get the beef stew a little taste here. There's definitely beef chunks in there. That's really good, really nice. Dude, I'm presently surprised because it's already day three and it's the only day where we actually do lunch on the boat. Quick salmon chai. Diana would say it's a little bit on the dry side. I don't mind that, but it's also really nice. And because this is an Italian cruise ship, there's of course pasta. They have a pasta station where you can select uh, two different pastas today. And I got a salmon bow tie one. <laughs> I think everyone says that you gain weight on a cruise ship and I definitely could see that happening. There's a lot of food options constantly, but I mean, it's pasta and we're in the Mediterranean, so let's go. Mm -hmm. Definitely tastes like pasta. You can see the chunks of salmon on there. It's a little drier. You can add some more sauce on it. They do have these stations where you can add olive oil, salt, pepper, cheese, spices and stuff. I think these side restaurants have way less options than the main buffet, but the main buffet gets really busy. You have more of a selection there, but it's really hard. You're kind of like lining up, queuing and fighting for a seat. So this is a nice option if you're a little like chiller. Yeah, there's a big difference in atmosphere here. And uh, this is an overall just pretty chill. I think the good thing about the lunchtime is it's pretty spread out. It starts at noon on the dot and then I think the latest one is going till 4 o'clock till 6.30 is the break. It's the only time where you can get any food in for free at any of the restaurants. Yeah, there are food options. You just have to pay for them if you want to. Like they have pizza and other things going, but if you want to do the inclusive stuff, there's a little gap. <laughs> God forbid that you have a gap in your food schedule. Well, that's what we're doing. We're trying to get away with uh, as little expenses on top as possible. 
We finished up our plates and because we love you all so much, we decided to go over to the main buffet to show you and taste for you the dessert options. This is entirely for you all, not because I wanted to try every dessert they had available. The main buffet was packed full of people inside and out. There were more grilled meat options here, hanging turkey legs, the same two pasta of the day dishes, more seafood and mussel plates, and a variety of bread and cheese. But we were here for the dessert. There are several individually portioned cakes and pastries lined up. We squeezed into one of the high tables with another group to enjoy our dessert. This is like prime time lunch hour right now. And uh, as you can see, it's fairly busy. Honestly, looking back at the experience, the buffet lunch dishes were hit or miss. Some dishes were really good, while others tasted bland or even inedible. But I was always happy with the fresh fruit choices, and I did enjoy most of the desserts, especially the dinner desserts, but we'll get to that in a bit. Holy cow, we just came back from the lunch and man, it's getting so busy. The later the hours, the busier it gets. People are still pouring in there. I don't know where they're coming from, but all the lines are full, all the tables are already taken. And that was just stressful. It's a sea day, so everyone has only one place to go, the food. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. And then uh, we were just finished. My mom texted on the phone like, I want to go eating now. And I'm like, OK, I'll go with you. She couldn't find a table. She is sitting outside now and eating her little plate. So that's how busy it is, man. There's so much plates and trash on the tables left over. It's just a little crazy. I hate the amount of waste from the people. There's so much food waste just there on the table. Don't get that much if, you, if you're not going to yeah. eat it. <clears throat> Absolutely. And now we're taking a break in our cabin and uh, out, out there is just uh, Sardinia going by so maybe a little gym session maybe a little gym session and then we'll see you for dinner can't wait <laughs> and before we wally our way to dinner we wanted to remind you to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to further support us we make additional monthly videos like some of our port stops on our patreon page patreon.com slash and phil a shout out to our soulmate tier patrons lauren jared peggy and derek roger lupka robin and parker Doki. you all are awesome and thank you for your support all right so it's dinner time finally and this is kind of like the highlight of the dining experience because you have the choice you can still go to the buffet restaurant but what everybody recommends is going to one of the specialty restaurants there are four on the boat that are included in any fair and there you get a designated table and time every evening and that's where we're going and you can choose from a lot of dishes and we're just going to show you how it is. We make our way to our assigned dinner table. We were assigned to La Colombina at 6 45 p.m. every evening. This is a full service restaurant and there was often a queue due to the hand washing stations. But once we make it past we check the dinner menu on our phones that changes every evening. The dishes often reflect ports that we stop at. One evening we had tortilla de patatas as an appetizer after Palma de Mallorca, Spain. Another evening we had some delicious ravioli after our stop in Palermo, Italy. And after our stop in Marseille, France, we had this incredible raspberry dessert. Oh my god, it was so good. But enough of that. Let's see what's on tonight's dinner menu. All right, so we just came in. We're one of the first ones in the restaurant. Each restaurant here has a set menu. They usually have a QR code on the table and everything here works over the app. So you scan it with your phone and you see in the app the menu. An appetizer, a first course, second course to choose from, from multiple in each category, desserts as well. So that's what we're gonna do. While Phil decides on his dinner dishes, I order a glass of wine and a bottle of water for the table. We did not buy a drink package, so we did have to pay extra for drinks at dinner. Water was not included at the full service dinner restaurant. Water and coffee were both free, or should I say included at the buffet restaurants. And we usually chugged water during breakfast and lunch and just paid extra for the drinks we had outside of the main buffet. Okay, I think Phil has decided his four courses now. We got four different things each for each course. And uh, what I have here is a finely cut bresaola cream cheese guacamole, walnuts, and cherry tomatoes. And I wasn't sure what bresaola is. I think this is a beef dish from the coloring, just a cut beef. So. Almost a hint of a carpaccio with like the cold cut and the olive oil on top. Also a little bit of garlic in there, I think might be in the oil. Very good, nice start, uh, small portions, but we have four of them. 
The other antipasti were the smoked tuna and seafood version that I ordered and the quinoa salad and broccoli tartare that Phil's mom ordered. All right, so it's main course time and the first course has arrived. We both get two each. Yana got a shellfish bisque with garlic croutons. I went with the seda mini pasta with Neapolitan ragu. There's some meat in there. I got some fresh parmesan on top and there's one meatball in there, which is right here. Pasta and it's an Italian ship, so I expect nothing but greatness. So it always reminds me a bit of a canteen pasta. And it tastes a little bit like that. It tastes a little bit like canteen food, but decent canteen food. All right, so we're here for the main course. We're actually filming this on our last day. We've had many dinners here and many dishes. It's been a lot. But today I got a fish roll stuffed with a salmon mousse and then topped with a prawn tail. Looks very interesting. I feel like there's always so many unique dishes that I would have never thought of <laughs> that we get an option here. Let's just dig into it. I cut a nice chunk of this off, this fish mousse and... Hmm. I've gotten fish most days here. I've skipped the red meat, but I really like it. I like there's a nice eggplant underneath it, some nice vegetables, and this fish is not too shabby. I have a beef cheek that is stewed in Chianti and rosemary mashed potatoes. It looks absolutely amazing. I think I chose right today. And it's super soft. It cuts up nicely. It falls apart. Very dark beef cheeks. And I had pork cheeks lately in Spain. I don't know about beef cheeks. This might be my first. Dude, that is absolutely the right choice. There's a big fat chunk here with a lot of fat on it, but it's this type of fat that just melts in your mouth. I don't know, the beef cheek, that's just amazing. Sometimes there's a little hit or miss with the dishes, but if you get one like this, it's really surprising that this stuff is included and it's really good. And while Phil guzzles down some juicy beef, we move on to my favorite part of the meal, the dessert. Time for the dessert, and this is the part I look forward to the most, and I think this is where this type of dinner has shined the most. The other dishes have been a little inconsistent throughout the week, but I feel like the desserts have been hit every time, and I love it. So today we have a Madame Chou. It's this nice bread thing with a pistachio cream and then raspberry sauce on the side, and it looks quite nice. I just love trying the different desserts. If I could order just dessert as a dinner every time, I totally would. I'm just loving the amount of pistachio in Europe. I love it. It's amazing. I just love all the desserts. It's creamy, it has a nice pistachio flavor, and then you have a nice texture over here, this raspberry sauce. Mm. I'll show Phillips for him. He has this nice chocolate mousse, a caramel cream with crumbs of chocolate cake on it. That looks so good. There's a little chocolate crumble under there. Should I try it for you? Sure. <laughs> Should I try it for you? Ooh, I don't know who ordered better today. They're both amazing. <laughs> this one's good. Just wanted to take a nap, but somebody's in my bed. Who are you? Mate. <laughs> 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 